like and subscribe. Well, my Hebrew Israelite spiritual intellectuals who don't go to the black church, don't call themselves black Muslims, that live in the truth, well, guess what? The Pope just took the side of the Palestinians and called the Israelis terrorists. He called them terrorists. Now, what is the black church going to do? Especially those who sided with Israel against Yahshua. Revelations 2, 9, 3, 9. Now, let's see what they do. Now, let's see what they do. Because him calling them terrorists, that coincides with what Yahshua said that they worship in the synagogue of Satan. So if they worship in the synagogue of Satan, now they can no longer claim to be God's chosen people. Now we go back to Deuteronomy 28, which says that we are God's chosen people. Now what are these guys what is this club going to do? What are they going to say? How are they going to justify this? Bring that up to them. See, because when I brought it up to a pastor, he told me he didn't, uh, he didn't get into the race thing. So, uh, so, so he's saying he don't get into the race thing. So what's he saying? Hebrew Israelites don't don't exist. God's chosen people don't exist. Contradicting itself. He getting caught caught in lies. That's why I say stand in stand your ground in truth. Stand your ground in truth. And if a Muslim say something to you, then you've got my other video where Malcolm X proclaim that we are God's chosen people. Check mate. Check mate. Because one thing, remember, is one thing I've always told you is this. You can't defeat a lie by saying you're lying. You have to have evidence. You have to have evidence. Now you got Deuteronomy 28, Revelation 2, 9, 3, 9. You got the words of Malcolm X if you're dealing with a Muslim. And you also have the Pope if you are dealing with a black Christian. But see, what they told my subscriber is, uh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to argue. Well, this is going to be the only, only thing they can say now is, I don't want to argue. But see, but see, my point is this. You lead a horse to water, but you don't make it drink. You're not supposed to. You plant that seed of truth. Then you lead them to the spiritual water. And then when they get thirsty, then they'll drink and your job is done. Don't argue with them. Because they, because the only thing they can do, well, they're not going to, they're going to avoid the conversation altogether. They're going to either avoid the conversation altogether or they're going to get loud and boisterous. So don't even, Yahweh don't want you to go through that. Plant the seed, let them know where the water is, and this, and let them know that you are not their fool. Like and subscribe. Have a great day.